<laughs> All right, I'm here with Mr. Q, who is the head of Environmental Council here at Trinity Pauling. And uh, we uh, just got involved in the Green Cup Challenge, which is something we do on a regular basis um, to stay environmental fr environmentally friendly here on campus. Um, so can you just tell us a little bit about that and how we plan to reduce energy? Yeah, so the uh, Green Cup Challenge is a challenge between, you know, there's probably three or 400 schools. Uh, they're all looking at how much energy they used over the last three years and trying to reduce as a percentage uh, uh, against that amount of energy usage. Um, that way, bigger schools, smaller schools, everyone can kind of compete. Uh, everyone has their own infrastructure. Um, we've been doing this for the last seven years. Um, one of the things we're doing is kind of almost a grassroots campaign. Um, I asked all the folks in environmental council uh, to go around to kids in their dorms. And the biggest things are just uh, turning off the lights when kids aren't there, turning off the fans when kids aren't there. And uh, one thing that's really proliferated over the recent history was um, people overcharging their devices. Um, you can uh, leave your computer plugged in all night and uh, on the max when that green light comes on, you can't really charge it anymore, but you're still drawing electricity. And so encouraging kids to uh, charge their devices fully, mm -hmm. but then turn them off. And, you know, if, if everyone took uh, two minutes before they went away on the weekends and, uh, you know, three minutes before they went away on the long weekend and unplugged everything when they were taking off, uh, when they aren't, aren't there and when they're not going to be using stuff, um, we could make a, a significant change and not only reduce the amount of energy, but uh, how that corresponds to the amount of carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere, which uh, has pretty bad ramifications for our global climate. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mr. Gill.